Aries, it's L here to do a quick love spread for you. So it's a four card spread. This is the situation. This is um, how the Aries feels, how the other person that Aries is coming to the reading feels, the outcome, one clarifying card for the entire read, and then the overall energy. Um, I want to say thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you are doing at least one of those things. Um, make sure you comment a yes or no question because I will be going live today at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Your question could be selected uh, for me to answer live. Um, there will also be an opportunity for you to donate and get a question answered if you want to do that. Anyhow, um, let's get into it. All right, so the situation for Aries is the Five of Pentacles. All right. Now, when we say the situation, this could be how Aries feels. This could be how the other person feels. Or this is mutual. Five of Pentacles, first of all, talks about the change in a significant relationship. Uh, one that has roots in history. A long-standing dynamic. Uh, a long-standing union institution um, it could be marriage it could be just boyfriend and girlfriend but there is some history here five of pentacles talks about someone either having lack of confidence in something progressing forward uh, lack of confidence right now where they are in that relationship in that marriage uh, in that uh, if it's third party, you just lack of confidence. Like this is not going in the direction I see it going. I don't feel it. Or I feel left out because I'm not getting attention. Or lack of confidence. Uh, feeling left out. Feeling um, shunned. Feeling like you're getting a piece of, but not the entire. Uh, not getting something in its entirety. Um some of you feel like you're not getting you don't have enough money but this is a love reading so we're going to say that it's more so emotional and attention based okay uh this is how the aries feels wow ten of cups so this may be your partner your partner or the person that you're coming to the reading for may feel this way because this is how this is how the aries is coming up ten of cups the highest level of happiness the ultimate uh, level of happiness that we all want to achieve um, friends family emotional just enjoyment and elation it's beautiful that uh, something's complete the the Aries feels complete the tens are about completion uh, this is beautiful you could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio if not it's just the energy this is how your person is coming in the reading, the strength card. So this very well may be your person, the five of pentacles and the strength card. Your person is trying to have strength. So the strength is the eight card. So let's think about the eights, right? The eight of pentacles, the eight of swords, the eight of cups, and the eight of wands. Your person is trying to have the strength to progress something forward, either have conversation about... Uh, the trouble and jealousy in a particular relationship. Your person may be feeling stuck, trapped, tied to uh, mentally, not seeing a way out. Um, your person may need to take time and really think about what what merry go round they're on and, and what they have been putting their energy and effort into blindly, uh, maybe for eight or more years. Um, with the eight of pentacles uh they may need to retract that energy and start to think about self um the eight of cups your person needs to have the strength to abandon the eight of cups is about abandonment abandoning one position going to another either backwards or forwards but the your person needs to have the strength so that's what your that's where your person is um they need to muster up the courage that it takes to to walk out of maybe a long-standing uh, marriage. The fives govern the higher frame. It's about traditionalism. So uh, your person may uh, need to have a strength to do that. So uh, encouragement. You know, that's what I'm hearing. Encourage your person. 
uh, encouragement isn't pestering or, or demanding or making ultimatums but it's more like encouragement whatever you need if I can help if I can assist uh, how do you feel today about this you know just if you can be that type of person for them then uh, you know or if you need to step away so that they can have the courage to do whatever you know uh, pray for them um, the outcome the king of cups nice so the outcome is someone sitting resting um, maturely in their emotion and how they feel about how they feel about what's going on and what's transpiring you could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio this is typically Pisces Scorpio it can be cancer but the overall energy is the Knight of Cups um, someone's offering their cup of love their cup of emotional investment possibly to you Aries because uh, their significant change in their long-standing uh, institution of your relationship marriage job something that they've done for a long time there's strife here so we know what the fives govern the five of swords five of pentacles the five of wands and the five of cups just ultimate change there so um it looks like they get to an, a more emotional state a more uh, um grounded um governed uh mature emotional state choice about this is the committed man to um let's see what is clarifying the entire ace of swords someone is so sometimes this is a double-edged sword right someone is cutting away um communicating about you fill in the blank and in that communication there's a new start so it's like if I were to go to my job and say, but this is a love reading. This would this would be my ace of swords if I went to my job and I said, um, I am no longer taking care of expense reports. I'm delegating that to Barbara, right? Um, th this that's going to be an inside joke for for. <laughs> For a, a Barbara that I know who's an Aries, I'm pretty sure she's smiling right now. Um, anyhow, um, if I go to my job and say, I'm not taking on expense reports anymore, um, I'm delegating that to Barbara. I now will be able to do the budgeting. So I cut away expense reports and then I took on something new, which is budgeting. So it's the Ace of Swords allows you to have a new start by way of communication of the written or verbal cutting away of starting a new by way of um, severing severing the ties. Uh, this is a blessing from the heavens. What you do with it is what you do with it. Uh, at the bottom of the the clarifying deck that I use is the Eight of Pentacles. Someone wants to work on perfecting themselves, their craft. Someone wants to work on perfecting what they have going on before they can come to you, Aries. They say like, okay, I love you, I like you, whatever, but I need to work on me. I need to get this straight. I need to figure out what what's going to be monetarily. Um... Where am I going to live? I need to figure all this out. And um, I, I might need some time to do that. But I still want the relationship. Just give me some time. And that may be the Ace of Swords that they give to you. Uh, we're going to clarify over at the other side to see what this Ace of Swords is about. What the Knight of Cups is about. We're going to clarify every card here. Uh, Aries, it looks like. It, it just looks, I feel as if the Aries is kind of standoffish a bit. 
uh, waiting for judgment about something too. Some of you are waiting for judgment about somebody you were married to. Waiting for spirit to speak to you. Somebody's waiting for somebody you were married to. I don't know. Um, we're going to go over to the other side and figure this out together. Okay. So the link is below to get the extended reads. Only $2. Uh, make sure you're commenting a yes or no question below. Because your question could be selected to uh, be answered in the live that will happen today, 5.30 p.m., May 10th. Um, thank you, Aries. Know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. I will see you on the other side.